Hey guys, welcome along my flight again today. This is part two really of another flight that I did earlier this morning where I was unable to land due to fog into this mountain strip. So the strip that we're going into it is a mountain airstrip in Papua New Guinea called Yambai Talk. And it is 510 feet of elevation. So we've already have our um, altitude bug here. We're setting in at 1,500 feet for our pattern altitude. Runway we're going to be landing on is runway 21. The length is 527 meters, which is around 1,500 feet with a 7% slope, which is really nothing. You're not even going to see it. So as we come in, we're coming in from the north. So I can bring this in. We're going to be coming in from this direction, coming down, going across the runway, and then having our downwind, our base, and then kind of an oblique kind of final. Short final go around is going to be power up, 20 degrees of flaps, pitch for 73, left hand turn out, reset our our ITT, our correction, our torque, or no, correction, our ITT up to 740 degrees. So I'm hoping that there is no fog up there right now. I brought on an extra half hour of fuel. The first time I just didn't have the availability to bring in extra fuel because I had another stop afterwards with a 500 kg penalty for takeoff. Vertical track. Betty letting us know it's time to go down. So I've set in already preset a thousand feet on our descent. And our fuel's fairly close to being even, so let's go ahead and turn the fuel on and start our checklist. Selectors and brakes are done. Taws, our train awareness system. We're going to turn off Betty so she doesn't yell at us as we come into this uh, mountain strip because the, the GPS doesn't know that there's an airstrip there, so it thinks you're just crashing into the hill, so it's going to yell at you to pull up and train ahead. So the Taws is off. We don't use yaw dampener. Our V-Ref is going to be our approach speed in this plane. Our speed varies for our approach depending on how heavy we are. So we're going to head over to our aux page. We're at 5,400 pounds right now. Like I said, we've got about 10 more minutes in the flight. Seven minutes to get there. So 10 minutes total. So we're just going to be in between. So we're going to just, our approach speed is just going to be 63 knots. So over here on our timer reference, we're going to put our V-Ref at 63 knots. That way I can quickly look down there, remind myself on my speed I need to be at on my final. For 2-1 miles out, we'll finish up the checklist in a minute. For the rest of it, we already have talked about our go-around if we need to go around for any reason. So looking ahead, looks like the valley is all clear of the fog now, which is really great because I have a decent amount of flying yet to do. I mean, it's only 9 in the morning, but I started my day at 6 in the morning taking off. I actually started my day at 4.30, but took off with the first flight right around 6 in the morning. And if you're interested in checking that video out, it will be on the end screen of this video, or you can just check it out at the top. It will pop up right about now. And you can check that one out where I tried to land here and had to go to a different uh, jungle airstrip. Instead, pick up another person. Today is the last day that we can fly here in PNG for the next couple of weeks. PNG is putting a, a shutdown on all um, flight operations uh, countrywide due to the coronavirus just to help prevent it from spreading anywhere else. I guess there was one case so far from somebody that came into the country that had it, but they haven't announced of anything else. So really kind of to stop it now before it becomes something serious. We're gonna go ahead and put a band on all flying for the next two weeks. So, yeah, it's gonna be kind of a boring next two weeks. All stations, Young by Talk 16 S17, Kodiak November Tango, Echo 10 miles to the north, passing 5,400 on descent. Circuit time, Young by Talk 13. Right now, as we are approaching our six nautical miles, it's about the time I usually start slowing down. I go ahead and put my prop full forward and bring my torque down to around 400 to 440 foot-pounds of torque. I fly everything by numbers. Um, the reason why I do everything by numbers, specific numbers, is because you have the exact same results every time, pretty much depending on weight, how heavy, you're, have, how heavy your plane is. But everything I do is I do it very methodical. It's exactly the same every time, and you get the same results every single time, which definitely makes it a lot easier. 
so I know at six nautical miles out, if I start slowing down by the time I get to maybe three nautical miles out, I am slow enough to put my bypass on. Now's the time to turn my lights on. Everything is exactly the same and it helps me remember what I need to do in the exact same order so I don't forget to do things because as you are flying into bush locations like this, you're very, very focused on one specific thing, so you really need to get as much done as you can beforehand and every, keeping everything the same so you don't forget something stupid. Okay, autopilot is off. Our lights are on, our inlet is on bypass. Props and harnesses are done. We're going to set up our OBS to runway 210. The way I can see at all times, direction of my runway. Because we're kind of in a valley, you can see here, and the runway is going this way, and we're going to kind of go down this valley and turn around. So it's not this nice little rectangle box like you're probably used to flying. It's kind of like this weird oblong shape, kind of. All right, so we're in the circuit. Let's call up search and rescue. Bedang 6538, November Tango Echo. Tango Echo, Marang. November Tango Echo is in the circuit. Yon by talk, cancel SAR. November Tango Echo, Yambai Talk, Tower, confirm November Tango Echo. All stations, Yambai Talk, 128 Decimal 5, November Tango Echo is down the circuit, Yambai Talk. Alright, pattern altitude is 1,500. 63 on final, 73 on base, 83 on downwind. Looking at the wind, we've got 10 knots of headwind. Which is good, it'll make it a little bit more difficult for takeoff, but because it's not necessarily a direct tailwind takeoff, it's kind of just at a little bit of an angle, we'll be alright. We don't have a lot of weight getting out of here. Our descent as we come over these trees. We'll see how it is, it's already dropped down to 7 knots. It's kind of a venturi effect here, it's a big valley there and a big valley behind us, and this is right where it gets really skinny. So the wind just channels through it and just speeds up right here, which definitely makes landing here a lot more difficult as the day goes on because the winds start changing and you have a tailwind on landing. All right, there's our 1,500 feet. Let's go ahead and turn. Get onto our downwind. 10 degrees of flaps. 500. 20 degrees of flaps, below 120 knots. and bring our torque back down to around 400 to 450. Like I said, we want around 83 knots for our downwind. We want to come up here around uh, 1,100 feet by the time we start turning our base, and 900 feet to 920 feet. Turning for final, which is 400 feet above. 500. We have eight knots on the tail right now. 173 on our base. Coming up here on this next little ridge. About 100 feet high. As we go into the wind, it'll be all right. All right, I picked out my spot, exactly what tree I need to go to to turn my final, and I know I'll be exactly where I want to be. Going down to 73, we want 900 turning final. Five hundred. Flaps. Checklist complete. Seventy-three. Think to my tree that I know is perfect on final. Looks like the altimeter setting's a bit off, but I know what tree I need to go to. For full flaps, sixty-three final. Think final. Knots, quartering headwind. and dry and firm.
All right, guys, if you enjoyed this kind of content, be sure to subscribe and hit the like button for me so you can help me out on the YouTube algorithm to let them know that uh, this is interesting content. So thank you again for taking the time to watch and uh, have a great day.